So first things first, I just want to let you guys know that this video is in collaboration with my friend Suzanne. She did a Harley Quinn look, which you can see over here. Just click the screen to go see her video and you can also find it in the description box. To start off, I've already done my face. As always, you can watch my older videos to see how I do that. My wig was bought secondhand, so nothing special here. It's also really itchy, so yeah. I'm gonna do my brows first. First, I'm just gonna run a spoolie through them just to get them nicely shaped. And I'm gonna use this red gel eyeliner from Inglot to fill them in. Mine's a little dry, so it's a bit difficult to work with. But if this was a new pot for you guys, it should be fine. You could actually also use a red lipstick, but I wanted something that would look a bit more crisp and last a little longer, so I used this instead. I'm just running this through my brows and running a spoolie through them occasionally just to blend everything out. It's okay if you get a little too harsh because this is a relatively cartoony look so that would fly. I'm now going to top it off with a red eyeshadow just to set everything in place and to make sure my hairs are vibrant. And also help with the bit of gradation at the front. Now I'm going to prime my eyes with my usual eyeshadow primer. I'm just going to pat this onto the lid and below it. I'm also going to apply this around my eyes where I'm going to be drawing those leafy things so that the eyeshadow I place on top of that looks bright and vibrant. And I'm going to pat this out. To start off, I'm using a white eyeliner to map out the leafy shape I'm drawing around my eye. Here's a tip to make it flow with your face a little better. I position the leaves or whatever you call them quite strategically around my eye to better frame it. So the first point kind of coincides with the arch of my eyebrow. The second point kind of coincides with the angle of my usual winged eyeliner. And the final point on my cheek ends in around the middle of my pupil so yeah it basically just helps frame the eye and look more like a part of your face you can definitely alter this to suit your face shape better this is just a basic outline so don't worry too much if you make a mistake Once you've done that, I'm using this mid green eyeshadow from an old Sephora set and a eyeliner brush and just lining the white eyeliner that we placed already. Now I'm going in with the lightest green eyeshadow we're gonna use today which is Sugar Pills Acid Berry and kind of blending out that mid green downwards or outwards towards the eye. I'm just using a pencil brush for this. Now I'm using our true mid-tone green eyeshadow from the Urban Decay Alice Through the Looking Glass palette and I'm just defining that edge a little bit more. The key to this look is to just work back and forth between the different green eyeshadows to get a nice gradation and a nice depth. Also gonna go in with a blending brush just to blend everything out. Now I'm using our darkest green eyeshadow and fixating that mostly on the points of the leaves and also on the innermost corner above my eyebrow and also the bottom corner on my cheek. 
you want to create a nice and pointed shape. I'm doing that with a smaller detailer brush. You want to go slow with the darker eyeshadow because you don't want to go heavy handed. Just want to slowly build that color to the intensity that you want. And then I'm going back in with our mid green eyeshadow and just blending everything out. Now I'm going in with a bit of glitter and a mixing medium and adding that to the highest point of this leaf shape. And also on the point on my cheek. This is just to add a little bit of interest. For my actual eye look, I'm just going to use a light brown eyeshadow because you don't want to distract from what's going around around the eye. I'm just blending in this simple brown shade on my outer crease area and my lower lash line. I'm gonna deepen it slightly with a matte brown. And then I'm gonna use this olive toned eyeshadow all over the lid. Like I said, we're keeping it simple to not distract from what's around the eye. And I'm gonna highlight the inner corner with this greenish highlighter from the Anastasia Moonshell Glow Kit. And I'm gonna do my usual winged eyeliner and top it off with a black eyeshadow that I'm dragging a little bit onto the lower lash and just to smoke it up. For my face, I'm just going to use a the washable green face paint and apply this to where I would usually contour my face. So that would be under the cheekbones and along my jawline. Using one end of the sponge to place the paint and the bigger end of the sponge to blend it up. I'm kind of blending it downwards so it kind of drags down the neck. Then I'm going in with this detailed nail art brush to create like these veiny things coming up from the jawline. I was kind of going for like a viney kind of look so it's like very poison ivy. I'm also adding some of these to the forehead but I'm going to blend them out with my sponge so they're not too defined. Now I'm going back in with the mid green and just applying that to my nose bridge eyebrow junction just for a bit of definition and I'm blending it out with my blending brush. I'm gonna highlight my face with this color from the strobe of Genius palette. I'm gonna do put this underneath my brow bone, the tip of my nose and also my cupid's bow. For my lips, I'm gonna use my favorite red lipstick. This matches really well with the hair and it's just really nice and sexy which is very poison ivy in my opinion. I did overdraw my lips a little bit just to get it to look poutier. As a final touch, I'm adding some of Lucky Clover, the green highlighter from before. I did my lashes off camera to save some time. I really didn't know what to do with this wig because it isn't exactly the best wig ever so I just stuck some fake leaves from my mom's potted plant thing and just positioned that on my head and called it a day. Thank you for watching, I hope you liked this video. Halloween tutorials are always fun to do, so stay tuned for more. A full list of products is available on my blog as usual, there's a link in the description below. If you want to see another video, just click the box over there. Be sure to follow me on my social media accounts. Thanks for watching and see you soon!